So today we're going to be taking a close look at Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. In my opinion, one of the best winter fragrances out there. This stuff is great bang for your buck. It's got great quality, great performance, and is all around just a really well done scent for the fall and winter time. Being that it is a Victor and Rolf, these usually aren't heavily discounted. However, you can get it for a nice discounted price if you shop with Fragrance USA. We're working with them together on this video. If you guys are unaware, we've worked with them many times in the past. They are a primarily niche centric discounter who will get in fragrances like Mansara and Nishane, Creed, Zerzhoff, and a lot of the harder to find niche brands which aren't normally discounted, and they bring them to you at a discounted price. They also do carry some luxury, higher end designer fragrances. I like this one here, Spice Bomb Extreme, and here within the next couple weeks, they are going to be adding a lot more designer fragrances, some of the higher end designers. So make sure you keep looking on their website to get some heavy discounts on those as well. So if you are interested in picking up a bottle of Spice Bomb Extreme for yourself or any other fragrance on their website, make sure you hit the link down below and check them out. Use my code CHAOS10 for 10% off site-wide. Anything that you get, as many as you want, will all be 10% off if you use my code CHAOS10. And remember, this is 10% off of their already discounted prices. This is not them offering these fragrances at MSRP and then giving you 10%. This is like deep discounts here. They're already discounted, take an extra 10% off, making this fragrance along with all the other fragrances a steal. So make sure you take advantage of that. There will be a link down below. So let's not waste any more time here. Let's go ahead and jump right into Spice Bomb Extreme. So this is a fragrance that I put off for the longest time. I remember when this one first came out and I was really starting to get into fragrances. At the time, I just wasn't really wanting to put the money up to buy it. And it took me quite a few years to actually go ahead and grab a bottle of this. This had come out in 2015, so it's been out for about five, six years now, but it doesn't really seem like it. This isn't something that smells like it could potentially be dated. It doesn't seem like something that has been over-talked that much. I mean, it does get quite a bit of talk, but I still think this one holds up really, really well. So when you first spray this one on, what you get right in the opening is this nice black pepper, tobacco, and vanilla. So it opens up spicy, like what you would expect. It has that Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette DNA in here, giving it that spicy kick. You also get that tobacco, which is also prominent in the original Spice Bomb. I love the original Spice Bomb. Uh, even still today, it's a scent that I do really enjoy smelling and wearing even though it may be played out. Uh, it's still a great fragrance. I've got the 150 ml bottle, which is a pretty big hand grenade sized bottle. So I've got plenty of Spice Bomb to go all the way around. And the Extreme does smell quite like that. The main difference here with this one is the vanilla is amped up and is very strong in the scent. And that makes the fragrance a lot more smooth. With the original Spice Bomb, that one is all about the spice and the tobacco. And because of that, it's not something that is like super smooth and kind of warm and sexy. I mean, it's smooth in terms of its quality, like it's not a synthetic fragrance. What I'm talking about when I say smooth is just that, you know, it's got a lot of spice. It's got a lot of harsh edges. With the extreme version, that vanilla kind of just puts a nice blanket over the rest of the composition. It kind of overshadows the tobacco a little bit. It overshadows the black pepper a little bit. Those other notes still are very prominent. It is all about that tobacco, vanilla, black pepper to me, but it just does a great job of rounding out the edges, kind of smoothing it off and just making it more warm and inviting. This one would be great for a date night and evening out, whereas the original Spice Bomb, I would see more for daytime, uh, just casual and things like that. Not really something I'd wear on a date. Could be maybe to parties, the original, because it is loud and playful, but dressed up or any sort of date, I wouldn't do that. With the extreme, I would. And one way I've described it before in past videos is Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette is a guy in his early 20s. So, you know, he's 20, 21, 22. Maybe he's in college, going to college parties, doing all that fun stuff, going to bars and stuff, of course, back when you were able to do that. And Spice Bomb Extreme is that same guy, but he's about 28, 29, 30 years old. So he's had some time to grow up and mature. That's really what this one is. It's just a more mature, smooth, well-rounded and more of a warm, sexy, inviting version of that Spice Bomb DNA. And for me, that is the perfect flanker. I love when companies approach flankers in this way. They take that DNA, which was very successful, very popular, and smelled great, and they just make it a bit more mature. They make it a bit more smooth. They make it a bit more warm, sexy, whatever it may be, while still kind of keeping that original DNA roots kind of in the base of this fragrance. And that's really what they did here, and they did a great job at it. Of course, there are some other flankers like the Night Visions, uh, you know, the Night Vision, EDT, and then what, the new Eau de Parfum that just came out. I've covered, I believe, 
received the Oda Parfum on the channel when I first got it, and I'm not really the biggest fan of the Night Visions. They're okay, but not my favorites. Those are flankers where I can do without. But the Extreme and the Eau de Toilette in the Eau Fresh version, or Spice Bomb Fresh, those three are killer. The Spice Bomb Fresh is discontinued, which is a bummer. If you could still get it, it's a great one to get. Uh, but the Extreme, by far, has to be my favorite flanker. And then following that is probably just the original, the Eau de Toilette. And after that would be the Fresh in terms of, you know, my three favorites from the brand. And it's funny, you can see how a brand like Victor and Rolf, which normally weren't putting out that many fragrances and that many flankers, have really got on the flanker bandwagon here within the past couple years, you know, with the Night Visions. They kicked those out pretty quickly. Uh, and, you know, that's one thing where it's going to be happening with a lot of brands. Even niche brands like On Watch has been going pretty heavy with the flankers as well, which is, it's fine. I mean, that's cool. Uh, but it, it just gets to a point where it could be a little bit you know, kind of sacrificing some you know, creativity and some quality like we see with the Night Vision Spice Bombs. But the Extreme, this is a work of art. This is a really good fragrance. You wouldn't think that it would be so much different than the Eau de Toilette and now, now all of a sudden it's an amazing, amazing fragrance, but it really is. It tweaks it just enough, it adds that vanilla, and it just completely overhauls the scent and just makes it a stunning, stunning fragrance all around. Like I've talked about it before, visualizing this fragrance, I just think of you know, staying inside when it's snowing outside and really cold and you're just inside trying to stay warm. Maybe you got your hot chocolate, your coffee, whatever, and you're just you know in for the holidays. That's really what this fragrance puts in my mind. You're just sitting by the fireplace staying warm when it's cold outside. It just has that warm, cozy smell to it and honestly just smells like the holidays. This one's a great performer. Eight, nine, 10 plus hours longevity on my skin and moderate projection as well. It's not a super strong projector like the Eau de Toilette is known for. That is a very loud fragrance. This one's a bit more refined. It is an eau de parfum, so you would expect that type of performance. And it's also just a bit more warm and smooth. You lose some of that projection, which is a good thing, because then you could wear it more for those dates and evenings and close encounters and more intimate situations. So honestly, performance for this one is right where it should be, especially in terms of projection. I mean, it's got just enough to push out and get someone's attention a little bit, but then it really draws them in. They get closer to you because they want to smell more. Again, the quality on this fragrance is fantastic. It's not synthetic. It's not sharp. It's not harsh. Everything's blended really well together. Everything works together in unison. It smells amazing. And again, that's good when you're paying a little bit over $100 for the scent still, even at a discount with Fragrance USA. It's still going to be running you quite a bit of money. I mean, this isn't a cheapie, but with that higher amount of money, you're getting something that has fantastic quality, very smooth, great performance, and just unique and different. It's really just that simple. It's just you pay more and you get a better product. And that's what you get here with Spice Bomb. If you want to treat yourself and you want to spend a bit more and grab yourself a nice, high quality, fantastic designer fragrance for the winter time, one that you could wear for about anything, especially for evenings and dates, Spice Bomb Extreme is one you have to have around in your collection. I'm so glad I have this one. I've been loving it ever since I got it. And it's just an amazing, amazing fragrance for the cooler months. So guys, that's good to do for me. That's my thoughts on Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. Again, if you want to pick one up for yourself, Hit that link down below. We'll take you to Fragrance USA. Use my code CHAOS10 to get 10% off your order. Obviously, the more you add to your cart and purchase with that, the more money you're going to save. So make sure you go browse through, check out some of their niche. If you want to pick up a Zerzhoff, a Mansara, a Nishane, a Creed, uh, the list goes on. You can get those all at a heavy, heavy discount. They've got some Tom Fords as well. So, I mean, they have it all. So make sure you go check them out. Heavy discounts over there. I've shopped with them before personally, and it was a fantastic experience. Highly recommend them. They're great to work with, so make sure you show them support. Hit that link down below. Chaos 10 for 10% off. Save yourself some money. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.